in when I was six years old in 2006. So at that time I was uh, started with my physiotherapy and um, the first like it was a new place. So um, I just took a time but after I was settled like it was an amazing place to come and I used to have an amazing time here. And I was also concentrated like on parts which were not concentrated before, like my upper body. So that was the part which was concentrated here. Then like I grew up and I was going to enter the teenage. So as a teenager, every child gets problems, emotional problems basically. <laughs> Like anger and all. Like I was facing the same and I was suggested for going for counselling and like I started counselling around when I was 12. And the first thing which um, like my, I am with Jill from like that time and like, the first thing we um, figured out was um, anger. <laughs> and for well, saying she's a very good person and like being her is like she's a very good friend and we um, actually like we that anger was like on the top level that time and we figured out to bring that anger in control within around like three four months and like we actually controlled it in like around a year and that was a big thing. We also went to like, um, after that we actually went to things like concentration, stress and etc. So it, in these 10 years, Umid actually stand, stands a lot to me. It has actually become family and coming here is a very good uh, time. And um, like, I had also faced the many problems during my school life and so they are, we have worked um, together to these problems and I would like to share those. So when I was in third standard, um, my classroom in school was on third floor. Like the school was uh, ready to teach me but like they were telling me we can't shift the um, classroom from third floor to first floor, ground floor. So at that time, um, Umi and we together had a chat with the school and they helped us and the classroom was shifted on the first floor. <coughs> and from then, like, I had many times when, which were not good and the times which were very good. And going to there, I came to the 10th standard the, and at that time of time, it was a very like, it's the very important year in the life of a student. So that time, um, I was being provided with a writer. But the problem which came was like, while applying for the writer, the disease which I have, the disorder which I have, was not in the register. So they told that uh, we can't provide you the writer. So um, after that, um, like we had to do some formalities and all, and then I was actually provided with the writer, which was a great thing. And I went to complete my 10th standard. I got a very good percentage of 89.8. <laughs> The field which I selected was, of course, arts and, and go to humanities. And that was the inspiration of Umid to go to eco and arts and go. So then I started my college life. Like, I got the admission in a good college. And um, I was going good, but before the college starts, um, when my mom went for paying fees, 
<coughs> I feel that that was a very bad place, first of all. So when my mom went, they told that they won't be supporting there. Even though it has a lift and all, they told that they won't be supporting, like, if any, they won't take any responsibility. So, um, like, and they actually told to change the college, which they can't do. Like, but my mom really gave it in writing. But they didn't. So, like, I went to the first day of college and, like, I was very attached to my school friends. Like, it was a very, it was a good day even, like, I made some new friends. But then on the next day, I was just ready to go to the college and some sort of fear came out from my, from the inside. So, I told her that I don't want to go and I bursted out in, bursted out of tears for around two hours. And like, I was just like, I don't want to go. And like, that two hours was the worst of my life. And like, after that, um, I called up my friend in the evening, we had a chat. The next day I went and met Jill. And we had around two hours of session. And after that, we figured out that I want to go to that college. The reason behind that was, I had the thing that whatever difficulty I am facing now, the people with disabilities after me should not face that. And so I decided that I want to go. And from that time, I had many difficult times, good times, bad times, and Umid is also with me every time. And so, like, I would just like to end my um, experience. Like, um, the main thing, the problem in India is, like, there is no awareness. So the people are not aware about some sort of disorders, and so they are not, um, like they don't want to take <coughs> responsibilities to take care of them. So um, the main thing is the people should be aware about them, so that um, they uh, the people with disorders don't um, suffer, and a person or a child with disorder can develop himself and can stand on his own legs. Thank you.